Let's make a study skin together. Study skins aren't taxidermy, but they are taxidermy adjacent, and they're an incredibly important part of the scientific community. While there are many different types of specimens used in biology, the kind I work on are bird study skins. These aren't meant to look alive, but rather for research, education, and long-term preservation. Scientists use them to study so many different things. Plumage, morphology, evolution, species distribution, and collections can have specimens that date way back to the 1800s. Study skins are one of the most efficient ways to preserve a bird, which is why museums and collections rely on them so heavily. Plus, they're an amazing place to start if you're interested in taxidermy but don't know where to begin. You learn anatomy, skinning, data collection, and specimen handling, but without the pressure of creating a perfect mount. I still make study skins for my local bird collections because of the incredible community that I'm a part of. You get to work alongside biologists, taxidermists, preparators, all types of people. You also get to work on the coolest species, like this common poor will that I'm working on here. So I would say that if you love birds and you want to learn taxidermy but have no idea where to start, find a local bird collection and see if they're accepting volunteers. And of course, a special shout out to all my friends at the Moore Lab, because look how many birds we did these last two sessions.